Today I'm working on this 1998 Toyota Sienna and it has some wiring issues. So the lights, which used to be here, and the rear lights and everything, and the socket, 12 volt sockets, all are dead. So I've been pulling things apart, looking at different wirings, and I'll show you a bit of what I've been doing. So one of the the first thing you want to test when you're doing any wiring is check the fuses. I actually have the fuse box out, the interior fuse box. This one, I think it's this fuse for cigarette lighter, um, 12 volt socket, some one of these, I don't remember which one. But anyway, the fuses are good. This here is the fuse for the dome lights along with a bunch of other things and I've been just following the wires and checking for continuity but before I did that there were a couple more things I checked I checked this right pin here is the ground pin I checked continuity with a voltmeter between that and ground I just stuck it in a hole here where I could get a good ground and it had continuity. So it has a good ground and I found where the wire comes out. So this cable here, uh, this white, this black and white cable, I followed it. To there. there so I checked continuity put a probe in here and one up in there and it has continuity so there's no problem there so I pulled out the fuse box this is where the wire plugged in The way I was probing wires was I would take the wire and have a needle and I would poke just through the insulation to get a test. So I've been looking at the wiring diagrams. The place I am looking at them from is not very user friendly so just going through trying to figure out different things. Here we go. So, here it so here So here is the dome fuse. It goes through this which I don't know what it is yet. Then there's a junction connector and then it goes through this. And it comes through here and goes to all our lights. So this here is goes through a connector 3D. And going through the other diagrams, I found this. And here's our connector 3D. So this here is the 3D, it goes in the orange connector, and here's where we may have a problem. I don't know what this is exactly, um, it's a junction box behind the combination meter. Here we are. Everything so taken apart. It's great. So there's our junction box. So I'm going to take that out. So looking at more wires and more diagrams and everything, found out it goes through the integration relay. And I'm going to show you that inside. This is the integration relay. And it goes on the board here. 
and you can see this pin here is all melted out. This was sitting on here kind of disconnected, hanging down a bit, which may be why it was a loose connection and melted. And this connector that holds it in is broken. So I cleaned it up, put it back together, um, and with the casing off, I tested for continuity on the motherboard where the pin connected to this pin number two. So I can I tested continuity between those two, and it had continuity. So this should be back to working, and I'm going to put connect all the connectors and test it to see if it works. So I connected it all back together under here, loosely, I mean, everything's connected, but it's not bolted in or anything, just to test, put the dash and the combination meter back on, and we have lights. So I got the lights working, everything is connected, but not really together. I'm going to get that together soon. Um, but one of the main things I learned um, while doing this was it really helps to have a good wiring diagram. The first one I went with it was a little confusing and it had some things in it that were wrong. In fact, it told me that the junction box I was looking for was on the passenger side. Um, but it's actually on the driver's side, so so a couple things like that it was saying that was wrong. It was sometimes the pin numbers were different. So it said it was for the 1998 Toyota Sienna, but I found a better one and used that, and it showed where all the it, it helped me figure out where all the wires were going and helped me find out um, the wire goes through the integration relay which led me to check that and find out it was not that it that there was a problem there so now all the wires are connected and the lights work thanks for watching